Hello everyone, welcome back to Sports Copy. I'm Rahul and in this very special episode, uh, we're going to discuss some of RCB's most important moments in the IPL. We're going to discuss the three finals that the men's team has participated in over the years and try to rank them and see which final was sort of the most painful. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this exercise, but yeah, let's say it's time to go through some of the trauma and relive those memories, I guess. But it's been a fun journey. We've had some interesting finals and I think RCB have been one of those unlucky sides to not have gotten through the final and won the trophy. We've got three finals. The first one, of course, came RCB against Deccan Chargers way back in 2009, second season of the tournament. Anil Kumble as the captain. 140 odd that the Deccan Chargers scored. 143 to be precise. RCB needed 144. They probably should have gotten the job done in the end, but it didn't happen for them that day. Then after that, they made the final yet again in 2011 after Chris Gale, Virat Kohli, they were sort of lighting it up in the IPL. This was another one of those. I think this was probably the least painful one because we really didn't make a game out of this and it was quite one-sided. Although we had Virat, Gale and Kohli in that side, it was we were really reliant on Gale and he didn't fire. We'll break down these games and as the video progresses and then we've also got that 2016 final against Sunrisers Hyderabad, which again RCB were expected to win after that incredible start from Gail and Kohli, but it didn't happen in the end. So yeah, in short, these are the three games we're going to rank. And it's going to be fun because after 2016, RCB haven't made the final. They've made the playoffs a few times. They haven't gotten through to the final. So it's going to be interesting. At number three, I have quite clearly, and I think there's no doubt about this, gone for RCB versus CSK 2011. Because simply, I think at this point in time, CSK, again, I'll just give you the scores. CSK scored an incredible 205. It was already a mammoth task for RCB. On top of that, it was a season where RCB were heavily reliant on Chris Gale's ability to strike the ball long. And when you've got 205 on the board from the opposition, you need the big West Indian to step in and score big. But unfortunately for RCB, Gale went for a duck in that game. If I'm not wrong, he was caught behind. It was Ashwin who got him. So... Yeah, it was yeah, it was one of those painful ones. And I think once Gale went for scoring nothing, you sort of thought, okay, this is not going the way RCB wanted to go. And this is yeah, it's going only in one direction. And that's exactly what happened. Virat Kohli of decent 35. Saurabh Tiwari was RCB's highest scorer that day, 42 of 34. But no real, you know, notable contributions in terms of strike rates. AB struck at 150, but he scored just 18. So, yeah, it was an unfortunate day and in the end, RCB fizzled out for what, 147, which was way, way behind what CSK had put up and it was, yeah, I think it was one of the easier finals to take because we never really got close to this total. We were outplayed in the first innings. Uh, when CSK batted, it was a brilliant, brilliant batting performance from Muli Vijay and uh, Michael Hussey on the day. The pair were opening the batting, Hussey scored 63 of 45, Muli Vijay in close to 195 of, 40, of 52. So. Yeah, RCB were never in this game really. So yeah, fair enough. I think that's that's that. Now, coming to number two and number one, I think this is where it gets interesting. This is where the video gets interesting for me. Again, this is my personal choice, my personal pick. I would, as a kid, as a nine-year-old kid, to me, that 2009 loss was so much worse than the 2016 loss. I don't know why I can't explain it. But even if you see it in terms of runs, the margin of loss in 2009 was much smaller than 2016. Although a lot of the younger RCB fans may have seen the 2016 final and gone, you know what, this was RCB's worst ever loss, um, the situation we were in and all of that. But yeah, now we'll go through the games. So for me, it's at number two is the 2016 final loss against SRH. So SRH put up 208 for seven. It was a uh, brilliant batting from David Warner, 69 of 38, who was just amazing for SRH during that patch. I don't know how they let him go. But yeah, Ben Cutting with a very, very handy 39 of 15 on the day as well. So yeah, SRH came up, put, in a, put up a good score. And RCB had to reply and reply strong. It was happening at Chinnaswamy. We knew that was a ba good batting surface and it, this total was very gettable. On top of that, you had... Gale, you know, you had a blockbuster line, batting lineup for RCB. You had Gale and Kohli at the top. ABW, Scale, Rahul, Shane, Watson. I don't think you can ask for much more 
um from a batting perspective but it was gail and kohli that got rcb to a great start they put up 100 for the first wicket 114 to be precise gail fell in the 11th over so when you really put things to context rcb needed less than 100 runs in about 10 overs and that was that was all right because virat kohli was in great nick you had ab de villiers coming in but game really changed when virat kohli's wicket fell in the 13th over rcb 140 for 2 after virat fell and just 8 runs later ab de villiers got out so now the pressures on rcb now the pressures on the likes of kl rahul and shivam also let me again remind you that kl rahul wasn't quite the player that he is today i think he was still coming into his own he was finding he was really trying to stamp his authority uh, in the indian national team as well shane watson wasn't the best player for rcb he was not the same as he was for the rajasthan royals so yeah i would say that the game was still heavily dependent on the contributions of gail kohli and ab but you could of course I rely on Watson and Rahul to an extent, but unfortunately, it didn't come for them. Eleven of nine for both players, and in the end, CB was shot by eight runs, and that's the story of this time. I, I, I'm this this time. It was really painful to take this loss, especially after the start that Gail, Gail and Kohli gave the Royal Challengers. But yeah, it places second for me because I think the game against the Deccan Chargers, you just cannot. I I don't know. You can't explain it because RCB. Brilliant bowling performance. You had Anil Kumble pick four for sixteen in an IPL final, and that is just incredible. You don't hear those figures. I mean, in a final match, in a final T20 game, four for sixteen from uh, the captain. That was uh, just phenomenal. I think conceded one four in his entire spell. Just brilliant stuff. It was Adam Gilchrist. Um, he got early on, who was of course the danger man for the Deccan Chargers. But luckily for them, Herschel Gibbs got a fifty, fifty-three of forty-eight, and then Andrew Simmons chipped in with thirty-three of twenty-one to eventually give them one hundred and forty-three for six. Now you say RCB are probably in the driver's seat, should be coming out and chasing this target because again, when you go through batting card, you're you're thinking they've got enough. You got Rule left over, who was doing well at the time. Jack Carlis, Manish Pandey had. Scored a hundred, I think, in that season was breakthrough season in two thousand nine. Rahul Dravid, of course, was not a T twenty player, but he could. This was sort of the right kind of chase for him, where he didn't have to really push too hard. You had Ross Taylor after that, Virat Kohli, Robin Uthappa. You Robin Uthappa had been in um, India's T twenty World Cup winning squad. You had um, Ross Taylor, who was destructive for RCB in those two three years. He was the guy. Who we turn to to finish games and yeah, Mark Boucher who could play a handy knock if needed. Pravin Kumar could swing his bat in the end as well. So RCB with that batting lineup chasing a 143 target, I think a lot of people would have had their money on them to win this final. All right, so what transpired? We lost Jack Carlis 15 of 17. Didn't have the best of starts. Manish Pandey went cheaply four of eight, but then Rulef Pandamova gives you life. And let me remind you, Rilev Madhavan is still going strong internationally for the Netherlands. He's he's still there, and thirty-two of twenty-one for the Dutchman who gave RCB a few handy overs with his left arm orthodox as well. Thirty-two of twenty-one, and then yeah, Dravid. You expect he's going to be that experienced head. Take this game deep, take it deep. Don't lose wickets cheaply. But he goes for nine of thirteen. That's where I think RCB have lost too many wickets. Pressures on Ross Taylor. Pressures on the the batters coming in. Virat Kohli, Mark Boucher. Virat Kohli was not the established player that he is today. So yeah, the reliance wasn't too much on him. Virat Kohli. Went for seven of eight, but Ross Taylor chipped in with twenty seven of twenty. Handy runs, but I think if RCB had to win this game, he had to be the guy to play deep and finish the game in the end. It was just unfortunate because Ross Taylor. We lost Ross Taylor before RCB even got to hundred, and then you are just saying, okay, Robin, pull us out of this grave. He do something special, but unfortunately, he couldn't. Seventeen or fifteen, he was there till the end, but yeah, just just couldn't get it done. I think for RCB in the end, the challenges were just lost too many wickets, far too many wickets in the end. One thirty-seven for nine, so that was the story. But I remember this was it was a painful loss because you lost by six runs, and it was a game that after the first innings you thought RCB was surely going to win. As compared to SRH, where you needed Gale and Kohli to give you a good start, although you knew the total was chaseable, you needed Gale and Kohli to give give you a good start. Here, I think it was more of it was RCB's game. It was all RCB's game, 
it was always rcb's game to lose from starting from their incredible bowling performance to the end of the game i think somewhere in that middle order we lost the plot and uh, ended up losing this one so yeah that's my list guys top 3 uh, i think most painful losses for rcb in ipl finals the men's team of course please do let us know your list and tell me if the srh one hurt more than the 2009 loss to deccan chargers leave your thoughts in the comments and like always like and share these videos subscribe to sports khabri and thanks so much for watching